Jack Sparrow. Be it known that you have Captain, been charged Captain by Jack Sparrow. Hey! Let's hear it for Captain America! <laughs> Captain Price. Sergeant Carrick. You with me? Nice shot. The name's Rex. But you'll call me Captain or Sir. Sir, yes, sir! Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome back to another custom video. Um, obviously this is, uh, Hall Halloween Trooper. Um, I haven't completely decided on a name yet. I was thinking of Lieutenant Jack. Are there lieutenants in the clone army? I don't know. I think there are. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my babbling. Let's, I mean... This is just, there's no articulation segment because this is just standard clone articulation. You know, the double jointed elbows that don't go in that far. Um, really, I just kind of wanted to sh show off the design I'd made for it. Because I, uh, uh, this is a weird one because I started out by drawing it first before I did it. Um... Which was, a uh, it was kind of new, because I've never really done that before. Um, obviously he's a 212th trooper. Um, and it was, at first I didn't think that the design on his chest was a good idea. But I came around to it, um, I think it actually came out really well. Especially with the jag eyes on the dome right there. And, uh, the sort of green green uh, dirt all over him from running through the pumpkin cap pump 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 the, the, the pumpkin patch so yeah that's that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool um he has a, a stripe down his arm like a like a 501st trooper would um i kind of gave him the 501st paint scheme with the knees and the arms and stuff um but, because the 212th didn't really have that, did they? It just had... It's... I'm not gonna say stuff that I'm not 100% certain on. Um... Uh... The helmet, I was gonna make the pumpkin at first. Now this is the pumpkin top. You know, there's the pumpkin, and then the vines are... Green, or whatever. Is the... What I was going for. And, um... Yeah, and I gave him this gun, which he came with, or the, I, he didn't come with, I made it, but, well, I mean, I didn't make the gun, it came with the figure that I painted over, um, yeah, I think he looks pretty good, um, ow, son of a bitch, um, <laughs> but that was not the only thing that I wanted to go over in this video, so... Let's do that transition over right now. I wanted, you know, cause the Black Series Echo's like my most popular video. Um, That wasn't a very good custom back then because I made that custom before the show came out. And I've been teasing this multiple videos, showing it off. Um, But I just decided to finally just make an entire video segment just dedicated to it, um, and the new helmet, obviously, um, but, um, if you want a size comparison, he's Commander Bly height, or, right, I think it's, I think I did a comparison in the first video I did of him, which, yeah, um, but I'll go over his articulation again, but really, I just wanted to show off the details and show again how close I actually got to his actual design. Um, so, let's start off at the head, because this is the part where you might not expect to have any articulation. But he has full movement range, even more so than Commander Bly, because of how I dremeled it. Um, which, I mean, yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, I'm... I didn't remember that. <laughs> um, 
I I don't I yeah I didn't remember that I don't even think that was the plan I was going for but I mean it works um his arm can swivel that far around it can go up obviously single jointed bend at the elbow which I was just excited that this arm still moved <laughs> after what I did to it but yeah and then this one standard commander Bly articulation you know can can't really swivel that way but bends in decent amount um so he can have his pistol up and his arm out you know waving his dongle around um he can <laughs> god damn it um his shooting finger which he did not come with on this hand bends in about that far and it doesn't look like the new one comes with a shooting finger either which is a little disappointing um that they still haven't fixed that his torso you know he could go to a rock concert leg goes up about that far back not at all depends in that much you know then from there it's just like standard articulation um design wise I think that was pretty damn accurate. Um, the from cutting off the helmet, you know, the 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 neck down was all based off of two frames from the trailer where you barely saw them in the background. That's what I did this from, and I did it, and I think I nailed it. Um, the the only thing is the waist cape has some insignia on it, but gonna keep it like that because for one i'm just gonna get the new one for two i feel like echo should have some memorial to fives on him and heavy somewhere it doesn't feel right that they took that away because he used to have a memorial for heavy on his on his legs and on, was it was it was it echo that had him on the legs or was it on his arm i can't remember but he kept a memorial of heavy on him um, and I kind of feel like they shouldn't have took that away, you know? Yeah. But, whatever. I mean, he did. I think, I think this figure looks badass. Obviously, the new one's gonna be better and fit in better. Um, but I like, I like this, how he looks on this mold right here. Makes it look like he came from a movie. Even though he wasn't from a movie. Every time I see this mold, I think movie every time I see the other one, I think animated. Um, which is how a lot of people think, but I don't see it bad either way, because I like the animated style. So, in my eyes, I have a movie Echo, and I have a animated Echo com coming whenever that wave comes out, which is probably next year in January. Despite what this says. I know it probably says March or April or some shit. But so did the Spider-Man wave, which also came from Hasbro. And look, look at that, I already have it. Um, <laughs> anyway, that is going to basically wrap this up. Um, yeah, as I said before, happy Halloween to everybody. Videos are going to be a little more sparse now, because um, I have a lot more things going on. Um... But I'm still working on customs. I have a Red Dead Redemption custom that's almost finished. I'm still working on Indiana Jones. With both of them. Um, which proven more difficult when I destroy my own materials. That's cool. Um, uh, I was going to make a Comic-Con video. I decided not to. Um, if you want to if you wanna see the, the hot toy... Well, for one, you could go watch a different reviewer. For two, I mean, I'll just leave a little clip of me showing it off here at the end. And, yeah, that's that's gonna be it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>